is and what's best in life. I mean, I'm sorry, but that, that's one thing we could be sure of. If anyone cares to explain to me how I'm supposed to feel about coming back to this crap. I mean, I'm all ears. Pac-Man doesn't even have ears. How, how's he supposed to hear the lamentations of the women? That's what's best in life. It's Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2. Speaking of crushing your enemies, that's I'm that I'm this game's enemy, and it's crushing me. I was not a fan of the original Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, one of the most derivative platformers in the history of derivative platformers, and a boring platformer too. It was like playing a mixtape of video game cliches, just one ripped-off idea after another. Oh, what's that? You you want original ideas? Holy crap! How about anti-gravity levels? Well, I've never seen those before. Or maybe platforms that rotate every time you jump. Aw, oh, people flip out over that one. Hey, how about we just punch the hell out of people, too? I mean, let's not monkey around this time. See, Pac-Man doesn't have ears, so you can't hear me being a sarcastic jerk. You're gonna have to be better than that! Now, does every game need to be original? No, that, of course not. No, no design idea exists in a vacuum. You know, every new concept came from some older concept. But it's one thing to take inspiration from old ideas. It's another thing to just take ideas. Much like the first one, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2 is just a greatest hits collection of songs it didn't write from genres it was never known for. I mean, to me, this, this game makes as much sense is having a Super Mario FPS that just takes ideas from Wolfenstein and Doom, only throws in Mario and a couple turtles. And, and I'm not even kidding, this is this is the exact same design approach. It's a Pac-Man platformer with Sonic's attack mechanic and with Mario's... Mario's everything else. It's like hearing a brand new song, only somehow you already know all the words. That's Pac-Man in the Ghostly Adventures 2. <laughs> Now, of course, to be fair, it's taking some pretty fun ideas. And that's the other thing about these games. As generic and derivative as they are, they're not bad. But, like, they play pretty well. And the controls are decent. There's some surprisingly good platforming. And to be honest, this one's much better than the first one. I mean, the first one literally gave me a headache. I actually had some fun with this one. I really enjoyed the platforming. I had a lot of fun with the new power-ups and the anti-gravity levels. But this is actually a pretty solid platform game, at least in terms of the mechanics. Nah, but where the game loses steam and really just starts to irritate you is its design. Or its lack thereof, to be honest. I mean, the levels are incredibly boring sometimes. You see, that's the thing. A Mario game isn't just fun because, oh, power-ups and platforms. It's fun because the level design's really clever, and it's constantly evolving and doing new things. You know, it takes you on a ride, and that ride is what makes the mechanics so much fun. And this is just the mechanics without the ride. It's a really good roller coaster car without the... without the roller coaster. If I sound down on this game, because the first one sucked, and this one's even more derivative in its design. But the good thing, I mean, the sincerely good thing, is that it really does play well. I mean, not quite Mario well, but still, pretty well. It also adds a bunch of on-rail sections, too, so you get to... Okay, now, the, I mean, this is just sin and punishment now. And while we're at it, hey, let's steal from F-Zero, too. If you could arrest video games for theft, I'd be giving this thing 18 to life. Okay, I, st I stole that from Skid Row. Well, the point is, this time around, it doesn't really matter as much. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is not a game you should go out of your way to play. It is lifeless and, I mean, it really has no identity of its own. But if you liked the first game, or if you're just really into platformers of any kind, well, this one might actually surprise you, because it surprised me. It plays well, looks all right, and the music blows, but all in all, it's a way better version of Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. And maybe that's all it really needs to be. I'll just tell Pac I said that. It's Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2.